So today we're going to be using smooth bristle paper and Prismacolor colored pencils, but without the cat, obviously. <laughs> and these are the pencils that you're going to be, oh, that we're going to be using in this video. Sepia, dark brown, light umber, dark purple, black, indigo blue and we're going to be using light umber and softly we're going to be indicating the dark areas of the hair we're going to end up using a lot of layers and we're going to be pressing softly and building up on the color and I think I feel like um, the hair looks more realistic when you add a lot of different tones in it because hair has variation of tones in each strand and so, therefore, we're going to be using a lot of colors. Now we're using dark brown, and we're just going over the same thing that we just did, and making it a little bit darker, little by little. of course we're not coloring the areas that um, the light is shining on the hair on because those are the light areas and once you color them you can't go back and erase so we're just not gonna color there Now we're using indigo blue and this is going to make the hair look a lot darker. I'm using indigo blue rather than using just black because I feel like black has that dull grayish tone and if you put blue before you use black it looks a lot darker. Now we're going to use dark purple and go over all the blue. We're doing this to eliminate the blue tones in the hair because it's nice as an underneath color but it shouldn't be as noticeable. And we're going to go over those two colors with black. This should make it look more natural in the end, covering the blue and the purple. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to be using dark brown and going over all of the dark areas to give it that 
rich dark brown look. Chino says hi. <laughs> they have this weird friendship where it's kind of abusive. Like, as you can see, Chino's, yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't sniff my leg. And then he just kind of hold his back leg like they're friends. This part is funny. Gino tries to sniff my cardigan that I put on the yoga ball, and it ends up tipping over, and it scares them both. Right there. Okay. Anyways, um, now I'm, I'm gonna be adding light umber, and this is gonna be blending all the colors together, and making it look more realistic. This should be making it look more smooth and blended together and it shouldn't have, it should eliminate all the patchy and weird, awkward areas in the hair. So that's why we're adding the light brown color. Now we're going to be using Colorless Blender, and I forgot to show the pencil so I had to put the tile there. And this is basically just a pencil without color, but still it has the wax. And we're going to be going over everything in the hair, and this is going to be blending it all together and making sure that, um, again, it's not patchy anywhere, and it's all smooth. So what it looks like afterwards and I'm gonna be touching it up with black and sepia in some areas that I thought looked kind of funky now I'm gonna finish the hair by doing the same steps as the left side onto the right side this is some progress and this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Bye.